Hi there, Sandra here from Create in Spain. I'm doing a trial card today, which I think is going to be simple but effective. Famous last words. Um, so I started off with a piece of 300 GSM card. I wanted a nice thick one and I did my printing cut. So I cut my base from the same card and I've put a decorative panel over the top of it. Now this is my printing cut. Okay, I've got two of them, that's why I was trying to separate them, but they were together. And again, I wanted the bulk, I wanted the weight, so although this is 300 GSM, I am going to glue these two together. Now fortunately, it's nice and easy to line up because of its irregular shape. So I can do that. And you notice I have this big circle area, and I'm going to punch a hole in it. Hopefully I'll get it in the centre. It may not be exact, but it's not too far off, so that's okay. Right, now on the back of this, I want to stick a coin because I want some weight. Now I could, with this design, actually put two coins on the back. I'm only going to go for the one for the time being, just to see how this works. But hopefully I wouldn't get another one. I'm going to use a fairly strong double-sided tape for this. I don't want bulk on the back of it, but I need the coin. And put my coin on there. And a bit of double safety. A piece of sticky tape over the top of that as well. So that really shouldn't go anywhere. Okay. So now I have this which I think you can guess what I'm going to be doing with this. I need to work out where it's going to go in here. And I'm quite happy to have it peeking up across the top. And I think that that's where I want it, where that little dot is there. So again, I need to put a hole in it. So I've got my hole. And the next thing I need to do is to put one of these things through it. I keep forgetting what they're called. Some sort of grommet. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. These little things that go down flat when you squeeze them through. This is going to go just through there at the moment. So I'm going to put this onto its setting for a setting then. And there we go. Okay, that's done that one. Let's put one through here. Because wear and tear on the card will A, stop it from working and B, make it a little more fragile. So now I've got these, you're thinking, well, how are you going to get it to work? And this is why I needed those grommets in there, because without those, the metal edges of that will end up wearing things out. So I'll put that through there, and then I want to open up the back, but I don't want it to be tight. I need this to be quite loose. Uh, I'm going to put that underneath the tines before I press them down because that will stop it from being too tight. So this is now a really fun swingy card. All I've got to do is put it onto a card base. Okay, I've finished my card off. I just put a tiny little gem on there. Now, word of warning, if you're going to do that, I would, if you're using the self-adhesive gems, take off the cheap horrible adhesive that they put on the back of it and actually use a decent adhesive to stick it on because quite often these things come off. What I've done after that is adhered it to a card base and the great thing with this is it takes only a few minutes to make this and it's such fun. It swings really freely and just be careful when you stick it onto there that you do not put tape around this bit because obviously you want it to move. I just put some tape around the edges and that was it. I didn't put any more tape on it at all. Now if you wanted to, you could do the coin in between the two layers of card. 
I didn't do that because I wasn't absolutely sure my design was going to work. And if you do do that, you will have to put a foam in between the strips here and the top of the design. Otherwise, it's not going to be flat. It's going to be thicker down here than it is up there. And it just won't quite look right. But yeah, I think that's good fun. Now, do not give this to a very young child who's likely to take a coin off and try putting it in their mouths. You could, of course, use this with a completely different design, more suited to an adult, such as, I don't know, a golf club swinging and golf balls or something to that effect. Um, maybe a fish jumping out of the water. Or I, don't, I don't know. Lots of different things that you could do. I just thought this one was a bit of fun. The images I picked up off of Pixabay, as I frequently do, especially if I'm doing a test card and don't want to bother doing my own graphics. And all I did was I made a, basically a stick, joining the two images, and then I put a circle in as well so that I had something to put the brads through. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care now.